I'm Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo with Hammerio Deluxe. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Well, I'm going to do this one off camera. Um, it's just a um, common question that we're getting lately about the 6.9 release and folks are asking, how does it install? So what I'm going to do is kind of demonstrate how it installs and uh, pretty straightforward not much different than it used to install except with one extra step there so real quickly just uh, look at here's what we're on we're we're on 372 um, 68.0372 and that's what we're where we're going to start from and this is just a test pc it doesn't have much on it except hrd so we'll, we'll go from there and so i'm going to shut it down and I've got um, 6.9 um, downloaded onto the computer, so I'm just going to run it. Accept the agreement. Same as always. Okay, then it gets to this point, and um, notice the two uh, boxes there, the options there. Uh, there's a new one there that says launch logbook database wizard this is what's going to convert your logbook from the microsoft access format in version 6.8 to the sqlite version uh, database platform in 6.9 so let's move that forward okay so you can see some options here we may simplify this because there's a lot on the screen but by default the database or databases that you have will be selected there. You can do more than one of them. They'll all go into their own new database so that it doesn't combine them or anything like that. So if you're if you see your database, it's selected here. Just click continue, and it's now going to create a um, uh, showing me what it's going to do. So it's going to override it if it exists. I'm going to create or do the conversion here. And it's creating the new SQLite table. And now it's going to import the records. There's a little over, uh, just under 12,000 records here. So that's done. That's all the time it took. Click Finish. I'm just connecting to a demo radio. And then I'm going to bring up Logbook. And that's it. So uh, I ended up with the same number of log entries that I had. Now the screen I'm using is small, and so it's not all fitting on the screen. And normally you would have a you'll have a larger screen, but then you would connect to the DX cluster and similar things as you would do before. If you click on this, it's going to show you this. If you had your QR set information in there would look it up, but that is all there is to uh, doing the installation. Again, I'm on a smaller screen, so it's all kind of scrunched up, but that's what it's doing. Thanks, and 73 from WA9PIE.